Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different because recently I ordered a lot of new art supplies online and I've also bought some in my local art store and I thought it would be actually really fun to show you what I got and do a little bit of like review on those new products and create a drawing using them. I'm super excited to do it. I can't wait to like get my hands on those new products and test everything out. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this video. Alright, so first thing I got were Copic markers. I bought a few different skin tone shades, mostly for lighter and darker complexions, as well as two blue and one pink shade. I ordered also a product that I'm really eager to try. And these are Prismacolor Call Erase Pencils, which are destined for doing sketches and they will supposedly allow you to erase your base lines easily and rework them many times. Next up from Prismacolor Premiere series, I got three color pencils and since I'm mostly using Faber-Castell ones, they might be a good alternative for them. I also got one dark brown marker from Prismacolor as well, since I wanted to give it a try and see whether it's better than Pro markers or Copics. Next on my list was Copic Opaque White Liquid. I hope it will be a good substitute for white gel liner as I think it might have a bit stronger coverage and go better on different surfaces. I was really surprised with how thin the tip was so that will definitely allow me to do even the smaller highlights. I also found my missing three shades of Copics while I was unpacking the products. There's also a Prismacolor Art Gum Eraser. Next, nothing special, I bought white Faber-Castell pencil since my other white one is running out and Faber-Castell is always a good and safe choice. I also purchased a sketchbook and it has A5 size and it's from Canson. It has a regular sketching paper so I will just use it for pencil sketches most likely. And last but not least, there is marker paper. I haven't seen this brand before, but I really like the square shape of this pad, so I just wanted to test it out. I started off with sketching the outline with Prismacolor erasable pencils. I was honestly the most excited about them and they definitely exceeded my expectations. Not only they felt soft and smooth while I was sketching, but they also allowed me to make the outline really gentle and also I could gradually build up the intensity without any harsh lines. The one little disadvantage they had is that they are not as precise as automatic pencils, so it's harder to do such small details like eyes or eyelashes with them. However, besides this, they are pretty amazing for a base sketch or just a general outline. The Prismacolor eraser is doing its job. It erases everything perfectly, however, one annoying thing about it is that it leaves a lot of those eraser fallouts, even more than erasers like Pentel, which is my favorite one by the way, so you're just gonna end up with a pretty messy desk. Copic markers were obviously no surprise for me since I already used them before. And even though I'm using Pro markers most of the times, because I'm just really used to them and I enjoy working with them a lot, I really need to admit that Copic markers have really bigger variety of colors and they might blend slightly better, I think. However, the on the other side, Copics are double the price of Pro markers and they are less accessible, especially here in Poland where I live. Anyways, I was looking forward to see how Copics will work with the outline I made with my Prismacolor and they started to smudge a bit at the beginning, but while I was continuing to draw, it was no longer a problem. As I was drawing the face, I noticed one annoying thing. I know that Copics blend amazing without any effort, but this time I was really struggling. It was impossible that it's the fault of the markers, so what instantly came to my mind was that it must be something wrong with the paper. I noticed that once I put a layer of color, it immediately dries out and the paper is soaking in the ink, so that makes the markers nearly impossible to blend. 
To get the color even, I needed to put a few solid layer of color, and yet it wasn't even a satisfying effect. So the paper appeared to be a quite a bad purchase, however, I think it might work for people that don't need that much of a blending in their artworks and they just want to have a flat layers of colors. While coloring, I was also trying those Prismacolor Premier pencils and they seem really good and pigmented, but on this paper they just didn't work that well. But afterwards I tried them once more on the paper I use normally, which is Canson Marker Pad, and they were pretty amazing, really soft and easy to work with, so it just proves my point that this paper is unfortunately not the best one. Last to test out was Copic Opaque White Liquid. I set quite high expectations for it and it didn't let me down. The liquid itself is extra white and it covers every surface. It doesn't get stuck on colored pencils like a lot of white gel pens do. And that was something I was really looking for in this product. The one problem surprisingly appeared to be the tip. In fact, it's really thin and extra fine, but it's just too long and not flexible at all. It's so hard to do dots or even little lines with it. It only works pretty well if you want to do long and fine lines. But I think that I'll just cut the tip or use a normal brush for it, so it will be all fine. So here's my finished drawing, I'm not completely satisfied with the result as I know it could have been much better on different paper but well, I'm quite critical about my artworks and I'm not objective at all so let me know what you guys think about this drawing. Alright so that's all for today's video, I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did because for me it was actually first time doing this kind of review as you might already know <laughs> and uh, I would love to actually record more in the future of like those kind of reviews like I said so if you'd love to see this as well then let me know in the comments and also if you'd like to stay posted with all my new drawings and videos as well just make sure you subscribe to this channel and you can also follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook or even Snapchat and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.